folding at 15 degrees seems to be quite popular right we'll show you why it's going to reduce it by an extra two degrees and eliminate a couple of processes Now that is a lovely fold at 15 degrees. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce that in 12s. Just reduce, push down, push down, push down. And then I'm going to push it through a die. And I'm hoping it will be complete. I won't need to use 5 degree cones, nothing wrong with 5 degree cones, very very good. But, the task today is to make this to fit me without using a ring stretcher or 5 degree cones, 3 degree cones, whatever you use. Just dies alone. Right, I'm just going to ignore this and then let's get cracking. Right, the advantages of um, folding them 15 degrees is you're that much smaller, you can go straight on to the next stage. Now I'm going to use a 30mm at 12 degrees here. Now, when you use Dowrin, you must make sure you cover the whole of the ring. If you think it's a little bit iffy and all that, don't take a chance on it. Because if this Delrin rod goes inside that coin, I was good night. You ruined your coin and you ruined your rod. And there's no reason why your rod shouldn't last you oh, forever, really. I mean, it's it's the way you treat them. But there's no mistakes with Delrin and cover your reed completely. Now you can't push through on these 12 degrees, they're reduction dies only. They have got a port in them, but all dies have. And check underneath, right, that's enough for that. The shape of that, absolutely beautiful. Now's the um, the twenty eight. Same thing. Probably get away with it on one and nil. The thing again. Grease your dies up. Again, make sure it completely covers your reed. Nice and secure.
feel it tightening there, you can feel it in the handle of your unit, hydraulic unit or arbor is even better because you've got more control and more feel over it, but if you're using hydraulic you will feel it and then you know, enough's enough. You're dealing with tooling. Now just look at the shape of that. Now that is incredible. Tell you what, if I could straighten those walls out now with five degree cones and you'd have a ring. Best to keep it away from a ring stretch if you can. And it's you need the inside detail to be I know you can cover your ring stretcher and all that but it's still pressure on it and it's still see the inside detail there perfect right I'm gonna renew this and continue the process but as far as I'm concerned that's three stages away from being a ring without even touching anything before I annealed it I cleaned it off or took the tape off it so you could have a look at the shape of it now that beautiful right I'll just anneal that right 26 mil same again you get a rod that is suitable now that's not suitable you see it's just now you get away with it but if it goes wrong it's gonna be disastrous so that's not suitable you need to Completely cover the reed. Now that's perfect for the start. It won't last very long because I've only got one push on that. But the thing of it is, um, better to be safe than sorry because I've had a couple that go through. Now I can feel that tensioning up now, I know that's my max. What you can do is you can mark a, a gauge on it. You drop it in first, mark your gauge with a black marker pen or sharpie, and then you know don't push past that. But I've used these so many times, I know exactly what I'm doing. And these rods are donkey's years old. Right, next stage. Feel it, that's it. That's me done. Right, the last die on the 12s is the 24. Now, um, they ain't got a lot of drop on these, so you haven't got a lot of wiggle room. Um, I could have done with a little bit more drop on them, but um, they're good enough. They do the job what I want. But if I was to look at it again, I want to have a bigger drop. I haven't got much of a reduction on that on the 24 so I've got to keep checking because what you don't want to do is push through because they're not um, well no dies are designed for you to push through even SW I'll tell you why in a minute see that's come to the limit there so I'm not gonna mess around with that anyway but look at the size of that that's on a 24 at 12 degree now that is tiny you can see that it's the, uh, right out of the way. now the thing of it is now I don't know if I've got enough scope here yet now I want that 
a little bit smaller and I'll tell you why in a minute. Look at that side there. Now the, um, what I'm saying about, that's an SW die, right? Whatever it is, push through. What you do is when you push down, and the top, push down and push down, you're then asking a, a hell of a lot of volume of pressure around there when you're pushing it from an angle into a hole. So what you're doing is you're pushing your walls inwards to come outwards. So you're pushing them against the walls of the die. And there's nothing wrong with um, SW, you can do that, whatever it is, but the volume of pressure is tremendous against the walls. And you can get nice shapes sometimes and all of a sudden you come out a little bit funnier shape. But as a reduction die, same principle, push to the port. Absolutely. Oh, beautiful. Lovely design. I'll um, show you um, ours later on in another video. But that's lovely, that. But as I'm saying, like the next stage is to reduce that a thermal longer at more. So I'm going to use a different die just to... I'll explain why in a minute, just to give me a little bit of what I want to show you. Now there's not going to be much in this, I didn't even bother to grease it. So. Feel the pressure through your gauge, through your handle. smaller that shape's getting better right I wonder if I can get away without annealing that turn that CNC off in a minute it's doing my head in. right now you see what I'm saying about the volume of pressure on the bottom of these when you push through a port there now if you take your reduce your ring i.e. that And it comes out. See, it's sort of, it's out of there, so you've got a little bit of clearance. So you're reducing the volume of pressure. Well, and then we'll push through completely on that, and we'll see what shape it is. But I am going to anneal that because I'm pushing through on that, so I'll be in. The right. So it's seven and a half, the same as RSWs now. Um, the thing of it is. Uh, I might have taken it a little bit smaller, but the advantages of 15 degree from the initial fold to 17 degree, well, it's, it's a lot smaller, but um, don't need to worry about that if you already own 17 degree dies. It's whether you think it's necessary, but you can get away with it. And you've probably got all the tools on your bench to do this anyway, if you look at it practical and you think, right, I can use that die, that die, because you can do it in 17, 15, 12s, 13, 7 and a half, do it whatever, any degree you want. You're just going to change the look a bit slightly. Right, let's um, push this through. See, it's nearly through there. 
clearance is there, it's just that this rod is a little bit too big for that. Didn't have a rod that was um, would push through the port. You've got to make sure with Dower and with any rod that it fits through the port that you're pushing through just by a thou. It doesn't have to be much, but um, this will do the trick. Right, this is the shape of your ring. That's it there, done. Now that's thirty eight mil point. 38.6 I think they are, yeah. Ah. Uh, just over S. So, I'll be out there. But at the end of the day, That's a ring. Full shape. Nothing used apart from dies. Just see. Right, let's take this crap off. Then you can really have a look at it. go now all I'm gonna do with that is tidy it up drop it in some liver of sulfur and then I'm gonna post the results and um, that's the size and how it came out that final die that's from folding in 15s reducing in 12s and pushing through at seven and a half but as I explained to you before, uh, where's that die? Uh, this one will do, it's the same, the same design. Now you don't need all this clearance here, that's just for my benefit. I have something there. But you need to make sure when you push down on SW and you're pushing through, for starters, try and get the size of ring you want, because when you do push out, you're going to alter that shape of that ring. And if you need to readjust it in another die, it's not going to. You want to keep it die sized till you're ready to bring it out. But if you're going to push straight through like that, you're pushing through at an angle, you might uh, say seven and a half into 90, and the walls are coming in, out like that, and then out like that, and you are basically putting too much pressure on the walls because the walls are pushing against it. But if you clear it, give yourself some clearance like I just did then, push through lovely, and that's a shape you'll get every time. It's not rocket science, it's pure mathematics. There you go. So, I'll post the results of that. All I'm gonna do is drop that in sulfur and let you see what it looks like cleaned up. Okay.